Have you ever assembled a lithium battery by yourself? What happens if you accidentally connect the wrong wire when installing the BMS? Hey friends, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will. Come for the lithium battery tips and stay for the BMS wiring problems. And here is the correct BMS wiring steps. The first black wire of the BMS connects to the total negative electrode of the battery. The second red wire is connected to the positive electrode, the first string of the batteries. The third is connected to the positive electrode of the second string, and so on. In this way, a closed circuit is formed between each string of the cells and the BMS. The voltage is the voltage of the single string of the cells. For example, the tenor lithium cell is 3.7 volts between the two wires inside the BMS. There is a resistance, usually 100 ohms. The current flowing through a single closed circuit is 37 mA. Calculate by the formula voltage divided by the resistance is equal to the current. This is also the calculation principle of the passive equalization current value of the BMS. So in general, the wrong wiring of the BMS can be divided into two cases. First, cross jumper. It means that the wire that originally has to be connected to string 1 is connected to the string 2, or the wire that originally has to be connected to string 3 is connected to the string 8. In this way, the voltage of the circuit will increase with the increase of the string number. As resistance remains unchanged, the current passing through it will become larger. And according to the formula, the larger current will generate more heat. After a long time, the BMS solder may be damaged. Therefore, do not plug in the BMS when connecting the wire, because it's often very messy when wiring is easy to cross jumper. To ensure safety, it's best to check again after wiring is finished to make sure that the sequence is not wrong before connecting with the BMS. Second, the sequence is reversed. Originally, the first wire should be connected to the main negative pole of the battery, and the last one should be connected to the main positive pole. But the result was reversed. The wire connected to the main negative pole was connected to the main positive pole, and causing the sequence of each string of the wires to be reversed. This operation will lead to two situations. The first is that the BMS B line should be correctly connected to the battery pack's negative pole, resulting in a short circuit and the melting of the gel. The second is that the BMS B line is connected to the battery pack's positive pole, and which is equivalent to the all circuits being reversed. In this case, the BMS won't burn, but the battery pack won't be able to work properly. Here comes the question. We usually say that the BMS is burned. Was it? You may say that, is it cheap? Well, actually, when designing the BMS circuit, this situation was really taken into consideration. The power supply for the BMS chip comes from the internal power supply of the BMS, and the total voltage of the battery pack is taken. So whether the wires are wrong or not, the total voltage does not change, and the chips generally do not burn. In fact, the burning of the BMS is mainly caused by the balance resistance or, or the short circuit caused by the exposed external wire. Okay, this is the end of today. If you think our video is helpful, likes and subs appreciate it. See you on the next video. Bye.